Hey guys, it's Pop Freak, and yeah, so today we're going to be going over my E3 2019 haul. Yes, guys, I got my E3 Pops that I wanted, and I'm really excited for what I got. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, the first one off I got was, we're going to just put them to the side. I got four in total. But yeah, the first one I got was... The first one I got was Battlehound from Fortnite. Yes, he's a good pop, but what sucks is that he's damaged right there in the corner. But yeah, let's take him out and give you all a 360 rotation. And I know my friend loves how I do it, so you know, screw it. We'll do it. We're gonna also, I'll also start to put pictures of him, like pictures of the glow in the dark pops up in the corner. Yeah, up in the corner of the video. And yeah, that's what we'll be doing because I know it'll be much better. Shall I break it? Sorry guys, my nasty teacher broke my glasses, so that's why they have tape around them. But yeah, so that's how he looks. And yeah, we'll put a picture right up on the screen of how he looks glowing in the dark. And yeah. Wait for it to be over. But yeah, he's Battlehound number 509 out of the out of the Fortnite pop games. He's E3 2019 limited edition. Now I don't know, but I saw that none of them actually sold out on the website, so I don't know if these ones did as popular as last year. But, like I was saying, last year they didn't even release that much. Like, they were only three to GameStop, and now this year there's like ten of them or something. But, yeah, um, the pops I did get from last year's convention were actually pretty dope. I did love game. I did love them. But I got the Gold King dice, and I also was able to get the Mega Man. Yum, 8-bit, the um, 8-bit Mega Man. He was pretty dope. The second pop we got was the Ex Class, the Excavator Armor from Fallout 76. Yes, guys, he is dope. He, oh, all these boxes are kind of damaged, but eh, whatever. Not gonna complain, the boxes are kind of damaged, but yeah. Whew, such a super cool figure. He looks so cool. Now, I believe he's in an armor. I don't really even play um, Fallout, but he's pretty, but I do collect the pops because I think they do look pretty cool. But, heh, <laughs> strength with all the abs. <laughs> it's cute. But yeah, there's a little ding in the back there, and yeah, that's about it for him. He is just a regular pop, just kind of exclusive. No glow in the dark variant, no glow in the dark version. <sighs> ah yes, I have a feeling, guys, that are can that are reveals for um. Oh uh, guys, I have a feeling. I have a good future for this year's um and for this year's S. Yeah, for this year's SDCC, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Cause yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a good series, a good um, a good con, and we're gonna get some good pops. Now the next pop we got is Sierra from The Witches. This is a glow in the dark E3, and you all know it's kind of silly. My guy had a glow in the dark sticker right up there. I, I actually do think I even still have it. Oh yeah, uh, do I even still have it? All I know is my guy I just chucked it over here. I can't find it though, but yeah, it was like <sighs> it was a sticker that they kept on the top, but it was really easy to take off. Thank God. So yeah, let's unbox her and we'll do a 360. Now she is I would probably say the most mintiest box in the set, maybe. Oh no, never mind. She has a little tear up in the corner. But yeah, that's how she looks. A super dope pop. And I'm filming this before I do the glow in the dark photos. But yeah, I think it's going to be a really cool one glowing in the dark. So I'm going to test that out soon.
There, there's how she looks, guys. Yeah, super cool pop. I love the white hair on her. That translucent sword is so cool. I love, I love the um, like lightning bolts in her hair. The blue suit she has on it just makes her look so cool. It's number 150 out of the witches, out of the witcher, the witcher, wild three hunt. Yeah, and it's out of pop games. Oh yeah, and that's from Fallout. And the Exclassivator armor, I don't even know. That's from Fallout 76, number 506 out of pop games. Yeah, out of pop games. Uh, yeah, guys, I just had a field day today, and I had a, and I got a sunburn because I'm stupid and I forgot to put sunscreen on. But yeah, thank God my friend did that for me. But yeah, I did not make it out alive because I didn't have sunscreen, mm, and I was in the pool for like maybe four hours. Oh my God, I don't know, but I was in the pool for a while. Oh my God, you can't even move. Like, oh, she's not like a pose. Oh yeah, there she is. She's supposed to go in like that. I don't know how long this video is going to go, but hopefully it's a good video because we're on to our last, <coughs> our last pop that we got from E3, that we got from GameStop for E3. Yes, guys, these are all E3, these are all GameStop shared exclusives. I did not even get none, I did not even get none of the, um, con ones because the con ones, ugh, ew. What? Yeah, hold on, I'm just filming a video, I'll be right in. I'm getting to the end. Sorry guys, that was my dad, my dinner's ready. But, yeah. Ugh, it's so, ugh. Phew. That got into the box nice and easily. So, yeah, there we go. And now, we're going to the last pop. And I got Sora line form. Pristine, oh, nope, not pristine box, it's like a little dent in the corner, but, yeah, that's how he look, that's how he looks, he is number 556, our pop line, Kingdom Hearts, I have to say, pretty cool pop, I do like it, so let's unbox, let's unbox it, and we'll show you up close and how he looks, Ugh. Uh, he looks so cute looking. I love him. Oh, I have a Sora. I have a couple Sora forms from Disney's King of Hearts 3. But yeah, that's how he looks. And yeah, guys, that is my E3 2019 haul. I got some absolutely great pops. Absolutely great pops and um. Absolutely great pops and yeah, um, they are pretty cool and I do love them. Um, but yeah, we're gonna also go over some new pops I got. So I got the scar, the flock scar. Oh, and oh, oh, damn, they go through my pop box. Not broken or hurt. I got the Dustin. I got the Dustin. That one box, that pop came in a badly damaged. I got the Hydro Man Barnes and Nobles exclusive. And I also got the Timon. I also got the Timon. The Timon Flocked, which I completed my Lion King Flock set reviews on those coming soon. And I've got the Flock Cuddle Team layer. So yeah, guys, that's gonna end it off for this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Pop Required T. Follow me on Stash PDI, Pop Required T. Hit the bell to join the Funko group and make sure to like and share the video. I'm out, guys. Peace out.